Ramaphosa, and can you under pressure not to trim staff? President Cyril Ramaphosa on Wednesday met with the executive leadership of selected Schedule II and Schedule III state-owned companies at the union buildings. Public sector unions are intensifying pressure on President Cyril Ramaphosa and Public Service and Administration Minister Sens Om Khanyu to abandon government plans to trim the public service. Instead the unions wants government to save their jobs. Satu and the South African Federation of Trade Unions, SAFTU, became the latest unions to express their outrage at the imminent call to public servants age 55 to be placed on early pension. Mkhanyu confirmed at the weekend that he would go ahead with the government's intention to trim the public service and cut the wage bill. However, he said such a decision would be taken after consultation with the unions, including Sadhu and Saftu. Sadhu General Secretary Maguina Maliuk said his union has already advised its members not to take early retirement without being penalized as the government had failed to clearly explain its intentions to members. The matter was introduced at the Public Service Coordinating Bargaining Council and Labor probed it extensively and requested the employer to present a comprehensive human resource plan, inclusive of all departments in order to determine the extent to which various departments shall be affected by this policy change. However, the government failed to present the plan, Maliuk said. Sad to was of the view that the government's retirement plan was not done in good faith. It did not take the interests of workers at heart but was meant to appease the rating agencies, he said. According to Sadhu, while the governing ANC managed to retain power after the May 8 national elections, the major beneficiaries of the outcome of the elections will be the International Monetary Fund, IMF, World Bank and rating agencies. As much as the country had its expectations on the elections, institutions such as the IMF and the World Bank equally had an interest in the path the country was going to take and this would not make things easier for the workers of our country. The National Executive Committee then called on newly elected President Cyril Ramaphosa not to be desperate to attract foreign direct investment by appeasing the ratings agencies that are the bastion of neoliberal macroeconomic policies at the expense of workers and the poor, Maliuk said. It is a well-known fact that the ratings agencies are not happy about our public sector wage bill, he said. Maliuk said those who will take their pension will suffer serious losses as it would be calculated on the retirement age of 55 and not at the projected value of the pension at the age of 65. We don't think that will be fair to workers. Removing teachers who have invaluable experience will deplete the intellectual capital of the teaching and education sector. This will further demoralize many teachers who are at present already demoralized because they teach overcrowded classrooms. We need strengthened, supported and motivated educators. Public servants, Maliuk said. Staff to General Secretaries Walenza Mavavi also said the proposal would adversely affect all sectors in the public sector, especially poverty-stricken areas of the Eastern Cape which were hard hit by infant mortality rates between 2010 and 2015. What we have demonstrated is that the government has become prisoners of the conservative forces. The regrettable part is that the government ministers and the top bureaucrats do not have their kids in the public schools and never visit public health institutions to see the ravages of the neoliberal dogma and austerity programs, Bobby said. Other public sector unions are also opposed to the trimming.